I'm not trying to make waves here, but is the tree that Kevin cuts down in Home Alone the same tree that he decorates? Hi guys, Dollar Tree haul time. Not even gonna do an intro today. I'm just gonna show you what I got. Ta-da! These are really fun for gift giving. I think that they're probably the easiest, the fastest way, you know, to just, if you don't wanna do like a fancy gift basket or anything like that, this is a great alternative. All right, next up is actually something that I've needed for quite some time and just kept forgetting about it. Every time I go into my kitchen to just put, pull out a small little bowl of some sort, you know, just put in some salsa or dip or just anything like that, um, maybe a couple little like peanut snacks or something, I don't have anything. I, I used to. Um, I don't know if that's like a teenager thing. All of a sudden you, you are missing forks and bowls. I don't even know where that stuff goes. But I found these. I think they're ceramic. They're very, very nice. As a matter of fact, they had them in also this like muted red color. I'm not a fan of this color and it's not my favorite, but it's a very nice dip bowl for me and it's microwave safe too. So I got two white and two red just because I wanted all white, but I only found two and I wanted to have a set of four. So I went ahead and opted for the red. Okay, do you remember when I showed you guys those um, soup packets? Well, they put out hot cocoa packets, which is very bizarre because they recently threw this out in my stores. And trust me, I know my stores inside and out. And I'm just like, why would this have been put out so late in the game? I've recently just found this and I go very often, but the packaging is really cute. You get one envelope and it's Nestle, which by the way, I've been testing out my hot cocoa preferences this year, um, Swiss versus Nestle, and I actually prefer Nestle. I went ahead and picked up some gift tags. I actually already have this in my set. As I was wrapping gifts, I was looking at this and I was remembering that I got it at Dollar Tree and I thought that the quality was so amazing and I told myself that if I ever saw this again, I would scoop up another one. I found a new uh, adult coloring book. This one is like a fall theme. Again, I just found it, but I haven't been paying attention lately to um, the coloring section or the books really too much lately. I really like this too. This one looks like a she shed, very farmhouse she shed. A lot of potential here. I would make mine yellow. I picked up some tape just to, just so that I don't run out um, because I don't, we're getting close to Christmas and there's gonna come a day where I'm not gonna be running out to make, you know, to do any, any errands. So I just wanna make sure I have some of that at home. All right, I found some new lip balm and just kind of quickly, I want to talk about how some of you have been um, telling me about stuff you've been finding out about Dollar Tree makeup. So just make sure that <clears throat> you do all of your research. Um, some things may end up being expired. Some things, I guess, have bad effects on people. And especially like lip stuff, uh, lip balms and things I've used before and never has affected me. So just letting you know, just make sure that you are paying attention to all of those things for yourself. Done pretty well with like lip balms and look how cute this packaging is. It kind of looks like the EOS. They did the round effect. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This is what it looks like open. And strawberry shake and cherry bombshell. This is strawberry shake. I found these little photo frames, they're two by threes, and what I found impressive is how farmhousey that they look. I really, really like them. And I think they're the perfect size for Polaroid pictures too. These are great for glass, ceramic, and porcelain. So this would be a fun craft thing to do, and maybe even like on Christmas Eve, you could just get these markers. You can see all the different colors that I found and get just, you know, a couple of glassware things and then everyone sits down and draws and does stuff, you know? Does stuff. Okay. All right, look how interesting this is. I found patch pins. Is this like a uh, visco for women? I don't know, but there are pins back there. There's just like a safety pin and I guess you could tack it onto yourself. Um, a vest, a backpack, purse stockings i don't really know i found crown jewels put out a christmas line but all i found was this 
So I'm really, really sad. I know that there had to have been an entire collection out, an ugly Christmas sweater collection. How cute is that? And all I found was this one, which is a little notebook in the shape of an ugly Christmas sweater. I finally found the red foil in my last video. I showed you guys like pink, blue, silver, and I was actually looking for the red and the green. I didn't find the green, but I found the red. And, oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna show you more gift bags. What I love about this one though, is that it looks like a stamp. Is that not incredibly clever? So I got two of them. They had two other options. I think they had a snowman and a penguin. I also found these bags. I liked how snowy it looked. So that's why I went with it. He has a little cutie mark, kind of like the um, My Little Pony. And here's Santa in the snow. I thought it was really cute, so I had to get those. And then this one's really pretty too. It has like a farmhouse look for me. Wow, look at that. And then the deer, it's just, the, is the camera doing it justice? Do you see all that foil? And then the deer has musical notes. All right, this item is interesting. I only spent a couple seconds looking at it and going, okay, that's interesting enough for me to pick it up. Um, but personal diffuser alert? What in the world? All natural pocket diffuser diffuses up to 1,000 puffs. Remain alert throughout the day and focus on the task at hand with a burst of energizing peppermint, revitalizing grapefruit, and courageous juniper berry. Can you imagine all of y'all taking this to work on a Monday and your boss is going, what are you doing at your desk? Why does it look like a lighter? I think you flip this up. Do you see how like I did that? You flip it up, there's a hole right here at the top and it seems like you squeeze. Oh, yeah, I smell that. Wow, I don't know what else to say, but wow. My back has been hurting lately. Um, and so I went ahead and picked up some of these back pain patches. I picked up some more gloves. I picked up another one of these. And the reason why I pick up a lot of these is sometimes they wear really easily. And I don't like to reuse sponges for different areas. I don't know anyone else. I just, if I, if I discover I need to clean in a new area, I guess I want a new sponge for it. Okay, then I picked up this professional foam carpet refresher. No vacuum needed. It's one of those things where you spray it on the carpet and it turns into foam, but then it settles and then you don't have to vacuum, which I always find that claim interesting. Why wouldn't you need a vacuum? Okay, this next item is really interesting. I found this subs this YouTuber, not subscriber, I found this YouTuber who did this like dog hack and I'll link her channel down below so that you guys can see it because she's so adorable and her dogs are like, okay. But she did this hack where she used sandpaper to file their nails down. I went ahead and got this and to see if I can file her nails down. All right, who remembers my taste test from the last Dollar Tree haul? I found another one and it actually I didn't say the the name right of one of them last time it was Georgia peach and Caddyshack the one that was the tea plus lemonade was actually called Caddyshack and this one is called Razzleberry I've never seen it before these cans are really gorgeous and I was so surprised by the taste it was really good for both of them so now I'm gonna go ahead and taste test the Razzleberry Wow that tastes like Oh my gosh, it, it smells like, that, that tastes like, I haven't tasted it yet. That smells like the raspberry from Mamba's. Wow. Man, that, this, this stuff is blowing my mind. All right, that's it for this video. Um, let me, comment down below, let me know if you guys have tried the drinks after you saw my videos and let me know what you think. I definitely wanna know 
if you think they're as good as I think they are. Um, obviously taste is, you know, preference and everyone's taste buds are different, but um, I don't like a lot of things and that was really, really good. So love it. Thumbs up. And that's the end of this haul. Come back for Monday because it has a theme to it that I think a lot of you are going to love. So I can't wait for Monday's haul and hopefully I'll see you guys then. If not, Merry Christmas. Stay safe. I hope everyone has the best holidays and I'll see you soon. Bye.